tracking Jose. The storm's biggest impact will likely be right along the shore. Days of heavy surf could eat away at area beaches and cause damages to oceanfront property. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo went down to the Matunic area of South Kingstown and talked to property owners there. He continues our pinpoint weather team coverage from the South County Mobile Newsroom. Waves up to 35 feet are expected out there in the Atlantic Ocean with 10 to 15 foot waves possible in Rhode Island and Block Island sounds. And that kind of wave action has property owners along this beach a little concerned. Waves are already building here in South Kingstown as distant Jose moves towards southern New England. Sky Drone 12 above the Matunic section of town. Waves crashing on the rocks below, surfers in the water, and people preparing for whatever Jose brings. Just taking the proper precautions, you know. It's not the first rodeo, so to speak. <laughs> Ocean Mist owner Kevin Finnegan said he's been through all the storms here, including Sandy and Irene, and he's seen some towering waves. There's been uh, starfish on the roof of my house, so they don't fly. So With Jose, severe beach erosion is possible along the Rhode Island and Massachusetts coast as waves batter the shoreline. Protective dunes could be overtopped or severely eroded by the storm. The bad damage, if you know, the surge and stuff like that, there's not much you can do. Finnegan expects beach erosion, saying it's almost a given. While hurricanes cause a lot of damage, he feels the worst storms are nor'easters for his spot on the sand. Despite the dangers, he says the waves are good for business. Business-wise and surf-wise, it's excellent. It's always that happy to, you know, hurricanes are good, you know, for that aspect. And then it's like, you know, you're nervous because you can get damaged while it's actually happening. You wake up the next day and keep your fingers crossed. Nature's, uh, you know... A wonderful thing, but it can be a dangerous thing. So be prepared. If anybody else, definitely take it serious. And big waves are expected to impact the Rhode Island and Massachusetts coastlines at least through the daytime on Thursday. With the South County Mobile Newsroom, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.